so today we are going to be looking at the fire gunner build. Uh, you're going to need two overclocks for this one. Uh, you're going to want to use the burning hell mod, where uh, it will turn everything in front of you into flames. Uh, I have the minigun kitted out for this reason. Uh, all that's really important here is that you choose aggressive venting. Uh, you can make it work with hot bullets, but it's really just personal preference. I really do like uh, aggressive venting for the minigun. Uh, the Bulldog Heavy Revolver, you're going to want the Volatile Bullets, where you will do 300% uh, increased damage to burning targets. That is sort of what we're going to be focusing on today. Uh, and the Gunner is sort of uniquely kitted out for this type of build because he has access to the Incendiary Grenades. So really, we're going to be setting a lot of things on fire and doing massive amounts of damage with the Heavy Revolver Pistol. So, uh... <laughs> I have actually never played a Hazard 5 mission in this game. Uh, you can see right here that I haven't even done one. Uh, and I have quite a bit of hours in this game, but I want to be taken seriously. So we're going to be doing my first ever Hazard 5 mission uh, with this build and see how it goes. So this may go well, or it most probably definitely will not. We'll find out. Uh, Help me. Ooh, another thing that I forgot to mention about this build. I have the um, hover boots equipped, and I'll show you in a second why that is important. Uh, because it actually does combo very nicely with this build. Uh, fortunately, this bomber's in the way, but uh, yeah, Bosco's not doing a whole lot of damage, so we're gonna try and show this up. This is a really narrow hallway. This is a. Okay. So, what's cool about the hover boots is if you hover above Praetorians or any other bugs, it will set them on fire. So, if you don't want to use the minigun or you're out of Molotovs, it's actually a really good way of dealing or setting things on fire to combo with the pistol nicely. Um, little tip there. So, I forgot to mention that earlier, but it is super handy, especially if you have the uh, hover boots maxed out. Okay, so we set the Maxera Bomber on fire, and it just takes one bullet to really deal with it. This build is very strong. Okay, so there's a lot of them here. I'm going to toss a Molotov. Ooh, yeah, they do a lot of damage. This set has five coming. But ow! Ow, they, they hurt a lot. This, is, this was a mistake. Ow! Oh, Jesus, I need to throw this down, don't I? Oh, that's a oppressor. I really should have saved my, um... Eee, eee, this is not looking good for me. With the amount of hours on this game, I should be better at it, honestly. This is just embarrassing. Alright, I'm, I'm going to run this way now. Uh, let Bosco deal with all that. Oh boy! That's bad! Um, <laughs> on second thought, this, this area is nice. Oh, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Eee. Alright, we're gonna throw another Molotov. This... wait... I, do Wardens heal? I thought they just... Oh no. I'm learning so much. Where's... Oh, I need to kill the Warden! Okay, um... Oh, come on. So, the pistol's really good at sort of just stacking damage up like that. Uh, but this build also, if I can showcase here, is pretty good at taking out bulk detonators. Um, I don't know how close this one is though, uh, but this is sort of the reason, I'm actually glad I get to showcase this, but the, uh, the aggressive venting is really good at setting bulk detonators on fire, otherwise you're going to need a lot of effort. Okay, well, where did the bulk detonator run off to? I'm terrified now. Uh, it was here a moment, and now it's gone. <laughs> this is fine. What's that sound? Okay, there he is. Um, yeah, I... Mm. Please follow me down the pit. Okay. So, the aggressive venting is really good at setting the bulk detonators on fire. Uh, hopefully I can choke it. Yeah, yeah, so it's on fire. Uh, but I'm trying to back up. I... Ooh. Okay, so this isn't as good as I wanted because I didn't really get to see the weak spots since this narrow cave, but uh, you can melt both detonators with this 
well if you have the right angle. Um, although I am absolutely just demolishing my angle right now. Ooh. Well, I didn't die at least, you know, that's a plus. It's looking up. Okay, I actually don't need health right now. Ooh, can I... Huh. Uncover ourselves a little secret. Alright, we're about halfway done on ammo. Uh, getting some home life. But yeah, this build is very fun to play around with. I haven't really tested it on this difficulty for um, obvious reasons, but it is fun nonetheless. Uh, really just a refreshing take on the gunner who... Uh, I'll probably be doing more builds on all the classes in the future. Um, considering... <laughs> uh, if this video goes well, or I just really enjoy it, I'm not really expecting a whole lot of reception on this, but uh, if you guys like it and I have the time, we'll certainly be making more content. Um, I realize I'm not the best at making promises, considering my last video upload, but... Listen. Man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Alright, so another cool thing about this build is, uh, you saw it right there, it can ignite, uh, whatever it is, the Praetorian fart. Ooh, we got a battery, that's cool. Uh, so I... They recently changed it so that weapons that do fire damage can do that type of, uh, have that effect. It's nice, okay, well. Doesn't want to show me its booty. Unfortunate. Uh, I'm not sure. It's it's not super effective. Like it took a couple bolts. I'm not. It's very inconsistent. I'm not quite sure how it works. Uh, but if you want to get the gas cloud out of the way, you can uh, ignite it, which is always nice. Uh, ooh, we are super low on nitro, or super low on ammo and nitro, I guess. Um, yeah, that's a priority. We need to resupply pretty soon, otherwise I'm going to be regretting some very recent life choices. Uh, really wish I wasn't soloing this, but I feel like it's the best way to get an accurate representation of the build. Uh, oh boy! Uh, I heard that! Yeah, no, that's, that's on me. Bosco, please save me. This is <laughs> terribly embarrassing. Ouch. That hurt. Alright. Feel like I saw some red sugar around here? Yes. Okay. I know I should be looking for nitro right now, but honestly, I have a battery here, and I'm just really looking for cargo crates. Sue me. Um, I'm <sighs> I don't know if cargo crates give nitro or not. I'm pretty sure they don't, but... I got can drink, can you? Oh boy! Oh, it's not gonna matter if I can't even survive this. Oh yeah, we're gonna throw this down for sure. Yeah, screw that. It's not even a swarm. God, this difficulty sucks. But yeah, look, look, look how fast we melted that Praetorian. Okay, that acid spitter is causing big difficulty right now. Okay, grab some health, grab some health. Okay, that was really close. Yeah, we desperately need nitro. Oh, thank god. Please be enough. I think I need like 30 or 40. Oh, oh is that... Wait, did we get exactly 80? Oh my god, I'm saved. Okay. Oh, and we have a whole bunch of loot books here. Nice. Coming in clutch. Alright. Ooh, should I call in a supply drop here, or should I call it in closer towards the drop pod? I haven't even seen the drop pod. Okay, it's over there. Alright, hopefully I don't get ambushed by any more bugs on the way to the drop pod. Uh, but it should be easier for me to collect the ammo there. Um, it's always sort of like a... Especially if you're in a lobby, it's just kind of courteous to put it close to where you're going to be defending on these types of missions. Um deal with that later. I always tend to do the objective last, if I can help it. Uh, 
because you can find stuff like cargo crates, or batteries, or those are the same thing. Uh, yeah, we need ammo desperately. We're out of Molotovs. How many? We have two shields, that's fine. Uh, two bullets, yeah. Um, so far, so good. This actually has gone a lot better than planned. Well, I haven't been down yet, so that's sort of what was planned. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, we need to track down two of these mules. Might as well deal with this one right here. Ooh, there's some Bismore down there. Alright, I I'm sort of doing a whole bunch of grinding stuff. I'ma just cut to next combat. Okay, I feel like I hear shellbacks down here. Or younglings on oh. Ah! Uh, yes, yeah, so that's without. Okay, no, I, I hear a lot of bugs. I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Yeah, you can really see how this gun uh, performs, igniting everything on fire. The aggressive venting, I'm, it's super fun. Um, it does leave you a little vulnerable afterwards, but that's what the pistol is there to sort of uh, clean up on. Uh, it's sort of just like an ebb and flow, like you have to constantly switch things up. Uh, I definitely recommend trying this build um, if you have the overclocks. Um, even without the overclocks, like if you just have one of them, uh, it's definitely worth messing around with. Uh, a lot of fun, really. Okay, I'm gonna go and try and look for that freaking cargo crate. Yeah, there's some shellbacks down here. I'm also gonna try and ignite more people with my, uh, my boots. Okay, I don't, I don't need to come down here. Cause that does, that's probably the most difficult part about this build. Sort of, uh, getting comfortable with all the different ways to ignite people. And recognizing the best situation to use each one. Like the Molotov is best for crowds. Um, I find that the boots are best for taking out Praetorians, or uh, oppressors, if you line up correctly. Uh, one thing that is kind of unfortunate about this build is you have to be very close to the bugs in order to sort of get the uh, heat coming off the guns. It's, it doesn't really ignite people at long ranges, um, which you can mitigate with hot bullets, uh, but then you don't get that huge burst at the end, which, um, using hot bullets, I don't think is very good for taking out, uh, bulk detonators, because it's very difficult to ignite them, uh, at least from what I remember, but, with this last part, uh, makes it a lot easier, from my experience. Alright, I wanna get out of this pit, this is, I think, feel like you're a Praetorian? Yeah? Where? Okay, I hear footsteps, but I can't see it. This is my nightmare. Alright, we're just gonna get out of here, and he's gonna follow us at some point. Oh, no, that is... <laughs> a bit bigger than a Praetorian. Yeah, um, as a veteran-ish player, I should probably recognize that, uh, sound right now. Ooh, yeah, see, I didn't quite get there. We're just gonna ignore that. I wasn't close enough. Um, it's another thing about this build that's kinda difficult. But look how quickly we took out that bolt thing. Like, once you get going, you get going. Alright, I should probably swing by the ammo. Yeah. Oh good, we can call another supply drop. That's always nice. It's very spicy. Yeah, I would not recommend using the hover boots to try and ignite a bolt detonator. Um, let me know if that works out for you, but uh... <laughs> I think I'll keep my distance. You do have to be very close to ignite people with those. Alright, I'm pretty sure the cargo crate is going to be in this tunnel? Maybe? Uh, let's see. I found it. Yeah, it's probably under. Okay, Just a hunch. Oh, cool. Ah, another battery. English. Alright, well I have both the batteries. Where do I put them though? Please be this direction. I'm gonna look like such an idiot if it was... Oh, cool. 
Uh, ignore what I was saying, I'm a genius. Okay, I hear bugs, so Bosco, you get to digging. Um, please be... Ooh, this is quite a bit. I might throw mods up here, but I think I can handle it. Okay, I'm unfamiliar with the amount of bugs at this difficulty spawns, but that wasn't horrible. Okay, now I hear Praetorian. Hey, come here. Alright. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Ah, uh, look, ignore my aim. Alright. This, this build is great, I swear. Oh, my aim is not. Okay. This is supposed to save ammo, not waste it. Okay. Um, if you have better aim than me, this build will work wonders for you. But if you're me, I, I think you might be out of luck. Uh, <laughs> oh, please be something good. Oh, wait, actually, hold on. Where's Molly going? Oh, here, boss. Looks stupid. Okay, another cool trick that I like doing. Um, if you're close enough. No. Crap. Oh! Yeah! You can deposit while well, it gives you a bunch of stuff. That's the fastest way I've found of getting rid of all this stuff. Especially if you have, um, like a full inventory. Uh, then a whole bunch of stuff falls on the ground and you have to go and pick it up. Not a huge inconvenience, I mean, but it makes me happy, what can I say? Alright, down into here, uh, we need to repair the mules, I should probably just zip line out of here. Yeah, I got plenty. There's Molly, there she is. Alright, well this has actually been going pretty well. Um, I haven't died yet. I only pooped my pants twice. Finishing up some Okay. I. Okay. <laughs> when I can't see the bugs, but I know they're near, that's the worst. Um. Oh. Speaking of. Oh, yeah, that's a Molotov. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's a lot of bugs. Alright, that's a shield, too. Alright, I think we're gonna overload it here. Just get it back off. God, that, that mechanic's really nice. I think for most general builds, they use the, um, I think it's called Cool as the Grave, where, uh, getting a kill sort of resets the heat on this, um, which is good, uh, it's always nice to continue firing, but even without the overclock, where it sort of speeds up the amount of heat, uh, I feel like it takes a while to overheat, like I do think that this overclock has two bonuses essentially, um, because it ignites things in front of you and it heats up faster, so you can sort of use the downside to your advantage so that you get more of those uh, big bursts of heat. Really comes together nicely. Um, but if, you know, for some reason the explosion doesn't get rid of all your problems and you're kind of screwed, but if you have teammates or decent aim or you're lucky, you should probably be fine. So you just have to plan on it. Or yin and yang. Ooh, should I grab ammo now or should I wait? I think I'm gonna wait. I could sit here and dig out the back, uh, but I'm not a driller and I can't really be bothered. So. <laughs> I could try and set up a bunker right here, uh, but that'd take much longer than I, I'd like. And, uh, you know, fuck it. Uplink ready. Triangulation initiated. Do not leave the triangulation right. zone or we will lose the connection. So I like having the supply drop close to the uplink so that if you ever run out of ammo you can sort of just grab it mid, uh, whatever, mid capture. It doesn't have to be exactly on the inside, but on solo it certainly helps. Uh, I was able to guesstimate right on the edge. Where you don't want it like in the middle, where it sort of gets in the way of everything. Uh, 
for people who play a lot of this game, you know, you're gonna be Who knows, maybe you're new. I help. Doing okay so far. Wish I had a little bit more light. Can't complain. <laughs> I like how there's a whole bunch of spider monsters coming after me and I'm worried about the dark. I'm worried about my health right now, I'll tell you what. It's a little low. Not comforting. Ooh. Okay, well, ow, okay, that's a shield. Ah, uh, okay. That was damage I could not afford. Alright, I'm actually gonna grab some health here so that I can... Ah, uh, or grab ammo so I can get health, rather. Ooh, ooh, I'm a, that's a... I need to get out of here, this is bad. Ouch. That hurt a lot. Ow. What? My feelings are more damaged than... Okay, you're on fire. but I wanted to, so, sue me. Alright, that's probably a bit far out of the range. I might, yeah, I'm gonna just grab this for the health. Uh, that, and this is the last capture, so, might as well be prepared. Uh, but, you know, first has five missions. Pretty good so far. Um, haven't made any critical mistakes, just a whole bunch of minor ones, but, can I say I'm human? Oh, I hear bugs. Where are they? That is a lot. Okay. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of bugs. Oh dear. Oh, look at that. God, I freaking love this game. Oh. Alright, we're gonna just run. <laughs> Molotovs aren't the best at doing a whole bunch of damage up front, but they really do add up uh, a lot of damage over time. And compliments is built really well, so they're definitely the go-to if you're using these overclocks. Um. Typically, I'd use uh, cluster grenades on the gunner, but not this case. They're good, don't get me wrong, but they don't really complement anything. They don't synergize very well. Okay. A lot of bugs, a lot of bugs. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of bugs. Alright, overheat, thank you. Yeah. Gives you a little breathing room, temporarily at least. Alright, we're just gonna sort of. <laughs> that was not the time to play with my gun. Okay, yeah, yeah. If I'm gonna go down, it's probably gonna be here. I don't know, see, we're fine. I don't know what Ow, ow. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. Very, yeah, I spoke way too soon. Alright, uh. Oh boy. I am amazed that I've not died yet. Yeah, if I can do this without going down once, I'm going to. Oh. I will be very happy. Okay. Yeah. So, unfortunately, uh, the overclock for the uh, revolver reduces the base damage, which I still lets it do, um, it can still, like, I'm pretty sure one tap back there, although it's a bad example since I was damaged. Uh, it still does most of its function. Uh, if you hit a body shot, it's definitely not going to kill for sure uh, on most difficulties, but it's a trade-off. All the other blocks. Okay, now I just need to survive for a minute and a half, and I will have completed my first house five minute that mission without going down. Feels good. Ah. Okay, I need I need to stop jinxing myself. Yep. Yep. Big time. Big time. Ah. Oh, also I forgot to mention I run um, the elemental resistance on this. Um, like the perk. Ooh, ow, ow. Oh boy, okay, well, yeah, I, I might have spoken way too soon. I need to just run. Oh yeah, I'm going down, for sure, yeah. Okay, 
I definitely jinxed myself there. But if I can just run long enough? Okay, if I can just get a shield down. Nope, it's charging. Okay. I was gonna say maybe I can grab some ammo, but I think at this point I'm just going to run this way and try and work my way back up. I just need to buy time. Uh, I'm out of Molotovs. Okay, my biggest concern right now is Bacteria. Or, actually, I take it back, my biggest concern is that. Okay, oh. I just need to get out of here. I was able to draw them off. Uh, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is scary. Oh, this is way too scary. Give me up, give me up, give me up. I just need enough. Two downs, not too bad, but I think I got to the top. I just need to get out of here. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. oh the, the book dead. Oh, that would have ended my run right there. Get in, get in, get in. Oh. Okay, well, hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, <laughs> that was intense. Uh, and who knows, if you guys like it, I'll, uh, I'll keep making more, maybe some more builds. But yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.